Hello, I'm Kevin Johnson, Dean of UC Davis School of Law. We've been through an extraordinary year and hopefully we'll never see one like it again. Although 2020 challenged us, didn't change our core values, widespread protests of police violence and concerns with systemic racial injustice have dominated people's thinking about the social climate of the United States. And I'm proud to report that UC Davis School of Law responded, and responded aggressively. In September, we kicked off our Racial Justice Speaker Series. It continues throughout the academic year. The series has gathered leading civil rights scholars, public defenders, policymakers, to talk about some of the pressing criminal justice issues of our times. The lectures have been informative, been well attended, and been inspiring. Now, UC Davis School of Law was recently honored with National Juris Pre-Law Magazine's ranking of number three in the nation, number one in California, among its top schools for racial justice. The rankings recognize what we were doing before it was popular. Over a generation, UC Davis School of Law has created an outstanding and exceptional majority-minority law faculty. Experts in the law of business, international law, criminal justice, policing, race and civil rights, immigration, public interest, dis disability, health, and much, much more. These scholars have helped put 2020 into context. Professor Jack Chen has told us about how anti-Asian rhetoric tied to the pandemic follows a long pattern of racial scapegoating. Professor Lisa Ikamoto explains why the pandemic has been so much worse for communities of color. On her podcast, What Trump teach, Can Teach Us About Con Law, Professor Elizabeth Joe explains who really has the legal power to police the police. And Professor Irene Joe, a former public defender who redesigned the public defender system in Louisiana, has talked about the actual impacts of the criminal justice system on real people and suggests ways to bring justice to our criminal justice system. Now, Professors Joe Chin and Raquel O'Donna are all speaking in our Racial Justice Speaker Series. And Professors Ash Bagwat. Chris Elmendorf and Aaron Tang spoke to our community about the election in November. And I can't forget Professor Jasmine Harris, who's the conscience of our faculty on the protection of the disabled, which includes many people of color. Students have been a part of our conversations. They shared their experiences and their fears in a forum about pandemic-related xenophobia. And they shared their outrage in a virtual event shortly after George Floyd's death. Now, last fall, we started our school year with a community read of the new Jim Crow, Michelle Alexander's powerful book about mass incarceration of black people. And as part of our commitment to social justice, the Law Review added a diversity, equity, and inclusion editor our Students Affairs Office added a Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Fellow to increase, expand programming for our DEI function. And I'm spending time this year co-chairing a UC Davis Campus Public Safety Task Force which looks at, the future, looks at the future of policing on the UC Davis campus. Now, the current racial reckoning in which we live calls for reforms that are sadly, sadly long overdue. I'm proud that we at UC Davis School of Law, in a building named after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., remain dedicated to that fight for racial justice. <laughs>